Now, you may have spotted my next guest on Strictly, performing and actually dancing during <laughs> musical week. Marisa Wallace is best known for her roles in things like Dreamgirls, Hairspray, and now the West End and Broadway star is joining the cast of Guys and Dolls. It's lovely to see you and making history, no less. Yes. Which is great. I'm so excited to do the show. I'm going to be Adelaide and Guys and Dolls. It's the first time we've had a black, curvy, curvaceous, booty, loving it. <laughs> In this role, but Adelaide, what a great role! I mean, I this is one of my yeah. favourite musicals. Yeah, and I love the songs. I love, I love you, a bushel and a peck. Yes, I love you, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, and a holly round the neck. neck. <laughs> it's, it's just great. You're going to have such a blast, and you've got Daniel Mays as Nathan yes. Detroit. Yes. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so incredible. Daniel Mays is such a, a star anyway, so to play opposite of him, we're just going to have the best time. We're going to be really funny too, and I just know that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Now, look, you grew up on a farm. I Yes. in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Was it a pig farm? You a on? pig farm. Now, that's not usually the route that you would expect you to be on Broadway <laughs> and the West End. <laughs> I did you, not. I mean, I think you just sang from when you were little, yeah? I sang when I was little. Um, there was a little church down the road that my grandma and my family, like, owned, and that's where we sang in church. So we, I would be on the farm, and then I would go to church and sing, and then I never thought that I would end up in the UK singing for the royal family, <laughs> like, I know. from a farm, you, you which happy, is so which crazy. Is, which is incredible. Yeah. What was the big break for you? When did it just all kind of, um, you thought, this is all going to happen now? It all came when I got Book of Mormon. So I was in one of the Great first cast show. of Book of Mormon. Sure. And from there, I got my first Broadway show. Yep. And then I worked on Broadway for about five years. And then um, someone got sick in the cast of Dreamgirls here oh, on the West like End. like something out of a movie, isn't it? it? Literally, it's something <laughs> out of a, from the farm to the West End. So um, she got sick and they were like, we need you to get here now. I moved in five days. Wow. I learned the show in five days and then I was starring in a West End show and no one knew who I was. And then That's now amazing. everyone knows who I am. And then also, I know Michael Ball is a huge fan. And we yes. love Michael. Oh, the How best. cute is he? He's, He's wonderful. Best. But he heard you singing and just thought, this woman is incredible. She's amazing. He changed my whole life. So um, I had a charity single called Tomorrow that I released in the pandemic. He played it on his radio show and it just went to number one and everyone loved it, and it just changed the course of my life. I got a record deal, I went on tour. We just went on tour together, me and Michael Ball this summer, and we did Hairspray right. together. So it just was like an amazing relationship, and he just, he heard the talent, and he was like, I'm gonna showcase it to the world, and he did. Don't you love that? When yeah. somebody, you know, somebody that's in the same sort of business, and it's your it's your peer, you mm -hmm. know, and then they, they recognize that and give you a, a leg up, you exactly. know, they help you. That's what we should do. That's what we should be doing, Absolutely. uplifting each other. Absolutely. And talk about lifting. You do power lifting, I believe. I am a power lifter. This is a great thing to do. Look at you there. That's I'm like, amazing. Oh my God, they have I mean, how much uh, can you? How much can you lift? Could you lift a person? Oh, I could lift a whole person. So I like my... Um, What's it called? Uh, deadlift is yes, like yes. 90 kilos. Wow. And I like lift it and I feel amazing. I mean, obviously. Yeah. I feel like a superhero. You look brilliant. You look yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Does, is it a really good way to sort of keep in shape? Because if you're doing musicals, I don't need to tell you this, you yeah. know this, you have to have the constitution of an ox. Excellent. You cannot get sick. No. You know, because somebody else makes your pin. <laughs> exactly. And we don't want that. And then they become a Western star. <laughs> exactly. So that you know. Exactly. But you really do. I mean, it's it's hard, you know. You have yeah. to just like keep going. So you have to be in peak health and, and make sure that you're all good and fit. Absolutely. You're a vocal athlete, is yeah. what I always say. So you gotta take care of your body. And then the more I lift, the better like my voice gets, my posture, it changes. I have more energy. So it's just been like a, a really cool thing. Instead of trying to shrink myself, I've decided I'm gonna make my muscles bigger. I love so it. So I love this. It's I great. I love it. I think it's <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Now look, you know somebody um, we have we share a friend. Yeah. Cheddar, Cheddar Gord. Cheddar an Gord. amazing drag queen. Oh look, isn't that wonderful? Oh when I when I was in it was Cheddar who and, and our family that were that were really behind it and they gave me such a lot of confidence which oh, they wow. really did and um, there's something about that but you did a big show together so we did the first ever drag queen lgbtq show at the royal albert hall in the main space look at and it was for christmas and it was just a beautiful show it was camp it was funny pixie polite was there as well brilliant and um i got to sing the final number well the final two numbers and one we, i did somewhere it was dedicated to all the lives we lost 
lost in the queer spaces that, from the shootings that have been happening around the around the world. Gosh, that would have been so, so it was, emotional. It was emotional. Yes. And then right after that, I told the story of Mariah, the saint, Mariah Carey. <laughs> and then I sang the God saint. Our holiness. <laughs> the, holy, the holy Mariah Carey. And then I sang All I Want for Christmas is You. And everyone was like, yes. Oh, <laughs> that, was great. that would have been the best night. The best <laughs> night ever, ever, ever. So look, when does it all kick off? When does Guys and Dolls start? Guys and Dolls is starting in March. Okay. We, have, we start rehearsals in January. Cool. It's fully immersive, so it's nothing like you've ever seen before. You get to be in the Havana wow. Club. You get to be near, like, in the action, wow. which is going to be a game changer. So it's Amazing. definitely going to be an experience you want to have. People will be able to walk the show on the floor, and then you, the other people will be able so to see like it. So it's like in the middle of it? Uh, yeah, you could. As be, if we've crawled into the theatre. You've, you've right crawled there? into <gasps> Guys okay, and Dolls. I'm there. It's going to be great. <laughs> Instead of it done. What a joy to meet you. You've really cheered me up. Oh, thank you thank so you very much. much. Oh, thank you so much. And make sure you get my single as well, which oh, gosh, is out. Right. Hopelessly devoted to you. Dedicated oh, so, to so, Olivia yes, and John. Yes, yes, yes. There's we so much going that. on. So much you. going on. So much. But that was But that's for the NHS. Exactly. As another charity single. And what a great thing to do. Yeah. Thank you so, Thank so much. You.